911. What is your emergency? Uh, hello? Uh, I think someone's trying to break into my neighbor's home. Okay. What is your name, sir? Scott. Uh, Scott Chance. Scott Chance. All right, Mr. Chance. Can you tell me where you're calling from? Yes. California, Long Beach, Seawind Drive by Westminster Boulevard, 719. Very well. Mr. Chance, are you currently looking at your neighbor's home? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm staring right at it. Mm -hmm. Can you please relate to me exactly what you are seeing, Mr. Chance? Yeah, I can. Uh, Jim, that's my neighbor, Jim. Jim Duggan. He and his wife left for his parents-in-law just yesterday. They live in Texas. Uh, he'll be gone for like a week, so uh, he gave me the key to his place because he's expecting a delivery tomorrow, and he says he's got no one to be there for it, so he asked me if I could do it, and I said yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I was just outside having a smoke, and uh, I was just walking inside, and I noticed I was looking at his living room's window. I can see it from my porch. The curtains are open and everything, and I saw something move inside. Mm -hmm. So I waited for a little while to make sure my eyes weren't playing tricks on me, and sure enough, not even a ten seconds later, I saw a silhouette moving across the room, and then a few more seconds later it happened in the upstairs bedroom. Bedroom. On both of them. One after the other. A figure moving around. None of the lights inside are on, so I'm thinking this, uh, it, it could very well be burglars or something. We've had a few occurrences around here lately, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I came inside and I turned all my lights off and I called 911. I see. Mr. Chance, can you see the front door of Mr. Dugan's home? Is there any sort of sign of forced entry? No, no signs of forced entry. The, the door is closed and everything. He's got a back door, but I can't see it from here. Maybe that's how they went inside. Wait, I just saw something. What did you see? Oh, shit. I see him. A man. A person. I see him. He's, he's walking away from Jim's house, from the back. Oh, man. Can you describe this person, Mr. Chance? He's, uh, he's dressed all in black. I, I can't really tell what he's wearing. He's got his face covered, too. Oh, man. This isn't good. <sighs> Mr. Chance, I'm gonna call... I think he's moving to the other house. Hang on. All right. I don't think Susan's home, but this is not good. Hang on. Shit. That was him. He's breaking in. That's Susan Greer's house. She lives right next to Jim. He probably broke her back window. I think that's what I heard. <sighs> Shit. This is bad. Can you send the police over, please? I'm going to contact the local unit and send them your way, Mr. Chance. In the meanwhile, I'm going to need you to stay on the phone with me and update me on the situation. Is that all right? Yes, of course, of course. All right, hang on for a few seconds, please. All right. Mr. Chance? Yes, I'm here. Sir, I'm sorry to inform you that, at the moment, all our units have been dispatched. There's been an accident at the 405 by Inglewood as a result of a car crash, and there's a pileup, several dozens of cars. So unfortunately, we've got everyone over there, and there doesn't seem to be an available unit to assist you. Now, with that said, what? I... What? Are you serious? There's not a single officer or, or, or whatever you can send? Like I said, Mr. Chance, the accident that happened at the 405 is very serious, so all of our men are there Okay, to... okay, okay. But still, I mean, what now? This guy's just going to go around freely robbing all of us? I mean, what am I... What, uh, what now? While our officers are dealing with the accident, I'm going to stay on the line with you, Mr. Chance. I've got my colleague here on the phone with the captain over there, and as soon as possible, we'll send a unit to your location. But for now, we are going to deal with this together, all right, Mr. Chance? Fine, fine. I'll walk you through the situation when need be, okay? All right. Very well. Thank you for understanding, Mr. Chance. Now, the first thing you need to do is quietly and discreetly lock all of your doors. I already did that. That was the first thing I did. I turned off all the lights and I locked all the doors. Very well. That's good. Where are you right now in your house? I'm upstairs, in my bedroom. Okay, good, good. This is how we need to stay for right now, okay? No light and no noise. Don't bring any attention to yourself. All right, all right. Okay, what can you tell me about Susan's house? Any movement going on inside? Yeah, occasionally. I just saw shadows moving around upstairs in the bedrooms. It's like someone's walking about, looking for something or... Mr. Chance, were those gunshots? Oh, fuck, they were. Where did they come from? They came from the house of the guy that lives next to Jim. I forget his name. Oh, Jesus. There's more than one? There's someone still over at Susan. Listen, What's Mr. Chance, here? you need to stay calm. I know it's easier said than done, but it's important that you remain calm. I'm here with you. I'm helping you through this, okay? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I think the guy, the one whose house the shots came from, I think he once told me he owned a gun. I think maybe that was him. Can you look out the windows, Mr. Chance? If so, tell me what you see, and remember, stay inconspicuous. Okay, I will. I don't see anything in the guy 
guy's house. All the lights are off. Nothing's happening. Uh, Susan's... What the... There's, there's a light in Susan's house. There's a light inside one of the bedrooms. Do you see anyone inside? Oh, I can't see anyone. But the light, it's, it's flickering. Looks like it could be a candle. Are you sure it's actually coming from inside the house? It could just be a reflection yeah, of something. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. It's definitely inside one of the bedrooms. It's just dancing around inside there. That's a candle, I'm sure. Could it? What if she... Maybe she was home? Maybe that's her. Could it be? I don't know, Mr. Chance. Can you see anything at all inside now with the light? Shadows, figures, anything? Oh, nothing. I don't see anything. I, I can kind of see inside a little bit, but nothing. No one. What about the police unit? What's, when, when can they come? Well, uh... Mr. Chance, I'm keeping in touch with my colleague here. He's keeping me updated on the accident situation, and it looks like we might have a unit available for you shortly. Oh, yes, thank you. How long will it take? The information I have is that it may take 15 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Jesus. I'm sorry, Mr. Chance. Unfortunately, that's the best we can arrange for right now. But again, I will stay with you on the line until the police get there, okay? All right, thank you. They gotta hurry up, though. I'm sure they will, Mr. Chance. Yeah. Wait, you hear that? Hear what? Hear what, Mr. Chance? Listen, listen. What is it you're hearing, Mr. Chance? It's coming from Susan's house. It's someone talking. It sounds like a man, but I can't understand a word he's saying. That's not, not even English, I don't think. Can't really hear it very well, though. Oh, what the? I'm hearing it now as well. No, no, no. That was another one. Another one? Someone in the other guy's house, the one next to Jim. Oh, God, I didn't even notice the light. It's like there's also a candle in there in one of the rooms. You, you're hearing this voice? coming from there. You're right. It doesn't sound like English. Sounds like chanting, doesn't it? Like in a church or something. Just listen. Be quiet and listen. This is very peculiar. Something very strange is going on here. I could really use some help here, man. I understand. We're doing the best we can to provide that. I just need you to wait and stay calm for now. <gasps> oh, fuck! What's wrong? What's happening? Oh, no, no. Scott, what happened? Tell me what's going on. I think he saw me. Who? Who saw you? Someone in Jim's house. I looked over at his bedroom window and there was someone right there. I think he was staring right back at me. It looked like he was. He must have seen me, I'm sure. There's no way he didn't see me. He was facing me. My window. Okay, he okay. Scott. He was literally facing Scott, me. Scott, listen. Stay calm. Don't panic. You need to be thinking clearly now. First thing you need to do is find something to protect yourself with, okay? Preferably something long-range to avoid close contact. A baseball bat, a sturdy broom, whatever you can find. Something resilient. Okay, okay, I have a baseball bat in my closet. Good. Go get it, Scott. Okay. Now, Scott, if that person did in fact see you, it does not automatically mean that you're in danger. At this point, it's just a possibility. But still, in any event, we need to be prepared. So this is just a safety precaution. Okay, I understand. I got it. I got the bat. Very well. Is there any place where you can hide in your house, Scott? Like an attic or a cellar? I have both. Which one should I go to? Which one is safer? Well, do you get any signal on your phone in the cellar? No, no. I hardly get any signal there. I hadn't thought of that. All right. Then you're going to have to head on into the attic. All right. All right. What else do I need? Is there anything else? I think for now that's about all we need. We're heading into the attic and staying put until the police arrive, okay? Sound good? Yes, okay. Going into the attic now. All right. You're doing great so far, Scott. Thanks, and, uh... Thanks for the help so far, man. I, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm here to help. Yeah, I'm not sure I caught your name there, by the way, uh, so... My name is Adam. Adam Harrington. All right, Adam. Thanks again. Not a problem. Okay, I'm here by the attic. I'm going in. Good, good. You should be safe up there. Oh, Scott, I just got a word from my colleague. Yeah? He says they were able to allocate two officers, so a unit has already been dispatched to your location. They should be there in about five minutes or so. Jesus Christ! Scott, what was that? Scott, talk to me. What's going on? Scott. They're here. They broke my cellar window. They're inside. 
I'm in the attic. Okay, okay. Listen, listen carefully. You have your bat with you, right? Yeah. They still don't know where you are. Maybe they won't even find you, but you need to be prepared for confrontation, all right? If any one of them comes close to you and tries to attack you, defend yourself. Hit them with the bat. Try to knock them out. If they manage to grab you, if it comes to close contact, you kick them between the legs, stick your finger in their eyes, do whatever you can to incapacitate them. Don't let them overpower you. Stay calm, Scott. You can do this, all right? You can do this. Stay prepared and stay vigilant. Can you hear them at all? Are you sure they're inside? Yes, they're inside. I can hear them. Where are they? They're downstairs. I hear their footsteps. Okay, okay. They're down there. Just keep listening and let me know what's happening. I'm going to help you as much as possible. Why isn't the police here yet? What's taking them so long? They're on their way, Scott. They're heading there as we speak. They'll be there in no time. <gasps> they're coming upstairs. All right, Scott. Scott, listen to me. From now on, you need to stay quiet. Do not make any noise. I'm still here to help you, but you need to stay silent starting now. Talk to me. What's going on? I can help you. Talk to me. If they do break in, you need to fight back. Do you hear me? Scott, remember what I told you. Fight back. Do whatever it takes to take them down. Scott! Scott, talk to me. Scott, what's going on? They're not people. Scott? They're not people. 